we're going to start with our routine. Our routine is that we start with our understanding history. So I want you to go ahead. I'm going to share my screen with you. You have you already saved it on your desktop. So I want you to go ahead, find December 2nd. All right, today is 2nd of December, 1823. The Monroe Doctrine is announced to the world. All right, you have five minutes to go ahead and start that. And then afterwards, we will share our answers, and then you'll get back into your group to continue on your group project, group assignment that you are working with. All right, so let us go ahead while I mark your names. All right, your five minutes begin as of now. Um, Fee, can you turn your camera on for me, please? I'm going to bring you in the meeting, seeing that you're having a little difficulty. I just see where you just mentioned that. So let me go ahead and invite you in. Okay, great. We have one minute, 28 seconds left.
Okay, our time is up. Is there anyone who need um, a few more minutes to finish up? If you need more time, all right, I'm going to give you two more minutes. And after two more minutes, then we can go over the answers together. All right. Which one? Number two? Number two says, how does the Monroe Doctrine connect to nationalism? Nationalism means on a broader scale. In other words, based on um, when it was created, what happened is that it um, they were able to claim land. So look on that light and see um, what you can find. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, number one, remember on this day, December second, eighteen twenty three. The Monroe Doctrine is announced to the world. All right, so we're going to go to number one. Who would like to share their answer for number one? Why was the Monroe Doctrine created? All right, Brianna, I see your hand and then Samantha. I put the faux doctrine was created as a warning to European states that the West Hemisphere of the Earth was taken, and if they tried to intervene, there would be a major problem. Excellent. Very nice. Samantha, share your answer, please. <coughs> Same number one. The doctrine was made to warn European states not to interfere with U.S. government or politics. Very good. Very good. So we got two good answers right there. So for those who have not um, completed that question, you have two answers that you can feed off. All right. And you can get to type in your answer. All right. Let us go to number two. How does the Monroe Doctrine connect to nationalism? Who would like to share their answer for that? waiting is there anyone who would like to share what they have written what they have typed in i'm sure somebody had something written down sarah did you have anything written down all right go ahead and share all right let me hear from you then Okay, all right. All right, so here we have the Monroe Doctrine demonstrate American nationalism because the United States lays claims to all the land in the American continent that is not already conquered. All right, so there you have your answer. All right, um, Sarah shared hers, but because our microphone is not working, 
she's with me in the class, so you could not hear her answer. All right, so if you are not yet finished, you have just one more minute to finish typing up your answer, and then please remember to click File and Save. Remember, you had already downloaded the weeks on this day in history on your desktop. So go ahead and just click File and Save. Remember, if you don't click File and Save, you're going to have a blank section. So please remember that. All right. Just to remind you of the etiquette norms, it's very important that we continue to stay actively engaged in class. Use a chat box or the raise your hand icon to ask or respond to questions. Mute your microphone when you're not speaking. And now you are expected to turn your cameras on for the entire duration of instruction. All right, be respectful of all points of view. We are all here to learn from each other. Okay, I see a hand right now. Louis, yes, I see your hand. Uh, what was the question, what was the answer to two? Number two, um, said that the Monroe Doctrine demonstrates um, American nationalism because the United States lays claims to all the land in the American continent that is not already conquered. All right? Hello. So that was your answer right there. Is that okay, Louis? Louis? You look at your kids? Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to be doing, rest, yesterday you were in your groups and you were working. Remember, you're all working towards, um, we use the Persia acronym, P-E-R-S-I-A, and that's what we are using to study any civilization. You have all already decided which letter of the acronym you're using and you had started, so you're creating.